us by our very own Tekka Saken. Um, it's around 243 million around the time that this video is made, but um, it should be able to pay itself off. So we have um, lasers, uh, a cloaking, a cloak, um, just in case someone tries to gank me and a core probe launcher to scan, obviously. Uh, cap rechargers to make it cap stable, afterburner instead of MWD to help it sig tank. A uh, small ar armor rep, and it's going to be dead space because it reps more and uh, it reps more HP. And so, and then I use Bling Enom and a Bling Adept Nano and Bling Plates, um, so that it do so that it's tankier. Uh, a heat sink for more damage. Auxiliary Nano Pump for more tank. Uh, a cap control circuit to make it uh, to for more cap. A small ancillary current router for fitting. Uh, 16 core scanner probes for uh, obviously scanning down things and when you carry 16 you don't have to uh, it'll automatically reload 4 times Aurora uh, for sniping rats uh, 4 Imperial Navy Standard small um, for engaging rats at the mid range and 8 Gleam uh, this is going to be your workhorse ammo, and it's for melting rats um, at close range. I, I also bring along four salvagers to refit to, um, and I bring um, one mobile depot and two MTUs so that I can um, rat and then wait for the first MTU to clean up and and then refit to salvage and that's the fit alright so now um, so now you warp to a anomaly in my case I warp to a perimeter hangar the first thing I'm going to do since I'm cap stable is going to turn my um, wrapper on I'm going to launch the MTU for it And this is a C2 site, so I shouldn't have to be that worried about uh, the rats. But I bookmark the MTU. And I start shooting rats. And then I check the triggers, and it says the awakened patrollers, the cruisers, are the triggers. So I'm going to lock up the uh, frigate first. And then I orbit the Awakened Patroller at uh, 3k. Uh, 3k allows the beams with Gleam to still track it, uh, the Awakened Patroller while still sort of getting under the guns of the Sleeper Rats and also maintaining top speed. Throughout this time, as always, you want to be continually descanning.
So one thing you may want to um, keep in mind is of newts and be wary of them. Because this, uh, this fit is active tank, so newts will hurt you a lot. And see the uh, frigs, sleeper frigs get uh, one shotted, and the cruisers also absolutely melt under the fire. Um, and the thing that makes this fit work is that this is a Wolf Rayette wormhole, which means that it boosts, I believe, um, it boosts the stats of armor, and it also boosts a uh, small turret, a uh, small weapon damage. So for example, uh, this will do, these beam lasers will do a lot more damage than they normally do. And before you get into range, you can switch to other laser crystals, for example, standard to shoot it. And then once you get in range uh, for max DPS, you want to use Gleam. And I'm finishing up the first wave here. For this next one, since there's a battleship, I want to spiral in. So by doing, I, um, I line my camera with the battleship and I click around halfway and I check the trigger and I see the cruisers are the uh, triggers so and I'm taking a bit quite a bit of damage here so I'm switching to defensive mode So uh, how the triggers work is that it's always when you kill the last one, the last um, type of that rat, that the next wave is triggered. So what you can do is that you can um, leave all of the rats alive except for one of that type uh, to minimize DPS if those rats are problematic for for uh, different various reasons for example deep possibly DPS or newts All right now as I get closer I'm gonna switch to standard and next I'm going to be orbiting the battleship. So now it's uh, in range, and so I'm going to switch to Gleam now for maximum DPS. So these C13 wormholes, uh, they're always Wolf Rayette effect, which as I discussed earlier, will boost um, the armor stats and the stats of small uh, weapons making the Confessor one of the best ships to use for um, C-13 ratting. And C-13s are only are 
uh, only allow very small ships to enter, so that means they only allow um, up to destroyers, I believe, to enter, so no cruisers. Uh, so this this greatly decreases the like likelihood of you getting ganked because you won't uh, because cruisers like the Stratios won't come in be able to come in and um, however because it's frigates only uh, there's going to be a lot of signatures which means there's going to be a lot of connections to other different wormholes or areas in space which means the likelihood of of getting ganked is still considerate, so considerable. So you um, need to keep that in mind. So this is the final wave of the perimeter hangar, and I'm gonna switch to Aurora to start uh, plinking down these rats here. And as you can see, uh, the the Wolfria effects are absolutely tremendous. Um, they boost the DPS to ridiculous amounts. A good practice before going into a hole uh, such as this is to check the Z kill board to see if there's any reoccurring activity because although game mechanics uh, make it harder to live here because no one can anchor structures on uh, shattered wormholes it's still possible that they live out of a ship in here so you probably want to see if there's um, previous resonance here and if there's um, if there's recent activity you might want to leave right and so this is the last battleship and as you can see the battleship can't track me at all so it's not um, it's not hitting with its turrets However, it's hitting with um, it's hitting with its missiles, but the afterburner helps sig tank that, and the dead space rep is more than enough to um, rep up any damage that the confessor may take. So sharpshooter mode generally um, for easier sites you want to be in this because it helps boost your DPS, thus increasing decreasing site. Um, completion time and but always switch to defensive mode if you're having trouble tanking and so I just completed a perimeter hangar and I will return to uh, loot and salvage both wrecks like this around your MTU so now what you do is you go to MTU tab uh, the uh, loot tab and um, what you do now is you salvage the wrecks for their loot. At this point, it's probably a good idea to start and try and loot the MTU. And I scoop it to my cargo hold. Um, while doing this, it will it would be wise to continue descanning for possible threats.
and you keep on salvaging and you end up with nice salvage such as these things.